Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna be again talking about functions specifically in Python 2. And this time we're gonna be implementing some functions that calculate the area and perimeter of certain shapes. Now, I wanted to talk about functions in general really quickly before we start. Now, this display welcome on line 25 compared to this calc area circle on line 30. So these functions are, they look slightly differently. And the main thing that you know that they're functions is this parentheses right here, those two, um, those two parentheses. And they either don't have anything in them or they'll have certain elements. And even if we go down here, you can see that you can put multiple different things into that parentheses. But the difference between these two functions is what a function does. So a function itself is always going to do um, three things. Those three things are taking in certain information. You can either take in nothing, you can take in one element, you can take in multiple. It takes something in, it performs a certain action, and then it will return or display or send back certain other information. So this display welcome, it's not taking anything in because you don't see anything in the parentheses, and it's not sending anything back because you don't have an equal sign. But this calc area circle, it takes in radius and it gets that from up here, and it's sending back area. So it's important to note that you're going to be taking something in, performing some sort of action, in this case, calculating the area of a circle, and then sending back certain new information. And as you can see with this code right here, we have a lot of it written for us. I'm gonna send, or at least post, most of this code into the description or somewhere where it can be easily downloaded. And then you'll be able to see that only in these comments right here are we going to actually be changing anything. We're only gonna be making updates right up here. Everything down here, you're gonna leave exactly how it is because this is an exercise. It says do not edit anything below. So make sure you add the functions up to the top. So what I'm gonna do in this function is I'm gonna implement the welcome function. Um, I'm also going to implement the area square, so square area, and then I'm going to implement the rectangle area as well so that you guys can see a couple of different types of functions. So we'll start with the welcome function. Um, the first thing that you need to remember is that the display welcome is not taking anything in and it's not sending anything back. So when we define it, define, you have to name it exactly the same. This is super important. If you do not name it exactly the same thing, display welcome with a capital W and a lowercase d, it will not work. So let's write display welcome, and we need to put the exact same parentheses that we had there, and then the colon. And when you go to the next line, you notice that it's not exactly in line. That's something you want to keep in mind as well. With Python, it needs to be indented by one indent. Everything that's inside the function needs to be indented. So if we're displaying welcome, all we want to do in this function is simply display something like um, welcome to our area and perimeter calculator. Okay, now obviously we don't just want to have that there, we want to print it. So let's put a print right there. So it's going to print welcome to our area and perimeter calculator. We can also maybe print some equal signs. how many we want well, let's say 50 and that's that's all we need we'll put an extra line after that now in a normal function that has a return you could put something like return right here well let's spell it correctly return and you could say return anything you know return a specific string or return some number but in this case you see the display welcome does not need to return anything so we're not going to put anything there we're going to leave it just as is so you can see that we use the exact same spelling display welcome we use the same parentheses we use the def operator right there and then the colon and you can and we just did the action. So we took nothing in, we performed the action, we don't need to return anything. Now that's very different from the square area that we're gonna do right now. So the square area is requesting to implement, it takes in a side and then it sends back an area. So let's do that. First we need to remember, okay, calc area square, we can copy that. We need to do the exact same thing when we put this one in. And I'll try and keep the, the scroll just in the right spot. So the side it's getting from here, so side equals 9.23. So we need to take that in and we can call it the exact same thing. We can call the variable the same thing. And we need to send back the area. So we need to perform some sort of calculation within our function. Now that calculation is going to be, obviously with a square, you're gonna take the side and you're going to multiply it by itself and that comes out with the area.
So we're going to use very similar to the display welcome function up here. So def, and it's going to be calc area square. And then obviously within the parentheses, we're going to need to add the side. So you're going to need to say def calc area square, and then inside parentheses side. And then after the colon, you'll be able to put your actual calculations. So my computer's running a little bit slow, so we'll wait for it for a couple of seconds. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to impact the video here. But we can talk about a little bit more of how we're going to do this. So um, the def function, and then you can see this little line right here in REPL. That's something that they add specifically so that you know what the indent actually looks like. So on lines 7, 8, and 9 here, you can tell that both all three of these print statements are indented, which is giving us a little bit of space right on this left side. And it shows you that everything here, line seven, eight, and nine, are within this display welcome function. So everything underneath the display welcome has to be indented so that you know that it's actually a part of the function itself. Otherwise, it would run as part of the main code and it would not work. Otherwise, everything seven, eight, and nine can be used anytime that we use the display welcome function and we call it like we do on line 30. And then inside these parentheses, we need to add side. And when we add our colon, again, it adds that indent so that we know that we're currently working within the calc area square. And we talked about how you can now use that side variable. So now we can say, we can create a new variable and that variable can be area equals side times side and then return area. Now this is really important. Now that area, since we said return, is going to be input right here into that equal sign. So any, anytime you send in, sorry, that's a bad example, calc area square. Anytime you send in side to calc area square, it's going to return or send you back the area. And then that area will be saved here. Let's do the same thing for rectangle so that we know what it will look like with multiple inputs. Now if we say def calc area rectangle, we also have to send in a couple different things. Now rectangle is going to be width and height. So we know how to calculate the area of a rectangle. It's going to be width times height. So you say area equals width times height. And you can return that exact area. And we'll return it to right here. So we know that the display function itself is going to be printing things and not returning anything. But calculations like calc area square and calc area rect, they're taking in certain information, so like side or width and height. And they're using those to perform some action. In this case, calculate the area and then return that area back to our main code. So the rest of the functions that still need to be implemented, obviously um, the area of a circle, perimeter of a circle, things like that, you can find the calculations for those online. You also have the math library if you need to use it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But other than that, best of luck, and thanks for watching.